are my little seedlings, Chris here, the Country Guys Gardener. I thought I'd just do a quick video, because I see this come up on social media a lot, especially as we're now, what are we? First week of October. As you'll hear, the wind's blowing through, the leaves are falling. So what we see on social media quite often is, what leaf rake do people recommend? I've got three. I've got four. Um, got to count the one which is in the Wolf Garden um, the click on collection that you've got as well um, but to be honest when I'm doing jobs like this I always use a leaf rake in, in combination with the blower because I've got so many crevices to get into and it's a big area and I blow it all into one and I use a leaf rake to get it all in especially when the wind is blowing like this it's very difficult to um, get everything you know you fight against yourself so anyway cut through it all We've got here two brands which come up in conversation a lot. We've got this one, which is by Fisker, or Fiscus, however you so choose to say it. So this is a um, aluminium handle or aluminium um, plastic head. Not really much to it. And then we've just kind of got this ball handle on the end. And then it's versus the bulldog. The bulldog. Nothing special on the end. Straight through a wooden handle, which I expect is just probably a pine. And then again, a plastic head. Now, you won't think that you could get something so different between the two. But I'll tell you, when you're using them, I actually do much rather prefer using the Fisker. Reason one being is the plastic feels slightly different. You can kind of get a bit of a bend in with the plastic with this one so you can get a bit more of a flick on and that's really good when you're hedge cutting especially if you've got something like you're cleaning up with you or conifer and you've got those small bits and you can kind of flick it a lot further I don't know yeah, well here's a little clip of me using this rake on hedge cutting now both of these rakes I've had for about the same amount of time. Um, I have both because when I have various people working with me. But basically, the only real difference between them is I say that the plastic in this one feels a little bit more malleable, let's say. So it, you can actually get a good flick on with the with goods. I like the metal handle, feels a little bit more robust. Plus it's a bit longer. And me being 6'2", I prefer a longer rake absolutely prefer it and I like this little add-on on the end uh, it doesn't get hung up that often but it's nice to have that feature for if you're storing it for a long period price wise I don't think there's a lot in it between the two I can't remember to be honest I think they were both around the 14 to 20 pounds mark but I can't remember so I'll ping it up here anyway you have to have a look. I'll have to have a look back at the price it's been such a long time these are both probably nearly 10 years old wear and tear on them hardly anything so let's be honest I have jumped between the two but out of both of them there's still very little wear I will always go back to the Fiscus one I will always go back to this I like the uh, metal finish I like the bottom on the end and I like the length of it it just seems far superior for me but what more really can you say about rakes? Not a lot really. Not a lot. The one thing I would say is if anyone's questioning why I don't use the um, wolf one on this, it's purely for the size. The, the size of the, the standard um, head that I've got on there is fantastic for flower beds and maybe for small crimses like getting in between bits of the fruit trees and whatever absolutely perfect large scale leaf cleanups out of bulldog or fiskers fiskers for me I'm afraid I'm not going to knock the bulldog it's a fantastic rake it's old rake what was that Rod uh, it was Dave wasn't it it's old broom 14 new heads 16 new handles here's a picture of it what, what proof do you want so many people now going, what the on about? Anyway, I've got some clearing up to do. I've got my handy old um, leaf grabbers as well. 
um, which are made by Yeoman. Have a little look at those. So if you're um, well going around for your leaf collecting season, you're going to want my go-to setup is a good backpack blower or the handheld, depending on your setting. A Fiscus leaf rake and the Yeoman grabs. Bob on. Anyway, let's carry on with some work. simple top tip for you as you probably just saw there when I'm bringing a wheelbarrow around with if it don't matter if it's leaf or whatever mulch or whatever you, you've got in there put your leaf rake across the top and trap it down on the handle with your hand you'll hold everything in place you'll lose a lot less on your travels <laughs> 